Welcome to the Court Web Intelligence, course code 2DV515, given as Linnean University. My name is Johan Hagelbeck and I'm the main lecturer and examiner in this course. So first, what is Web Intelligence? Today we have huge amounts of data generated by lots of users available on the web, for example movie and song recommendations, Wikipedia, lots and lots of pages about lots and lots of things, web page recommendations, product recommendations and much more. So the basic idea is how can we learn from and draw conclusions about the data to create new products or services. So one typical example is Netflix. Netflix recommends movies and TV shows that you might like based on what you previously have looked at. In 2006 Netflix announced a price of $1 million to the first team that improved the accuracy of their recommendation system by 10%. In 2007, the best team managed to improve the system by 7%. But it was not until in September 2009 that the prize was awarded to the Belcourt's Pragmatic Chaos team. So clearly, there are huge benefits for better recommendation systems. Another example is Google. Before Google started, search engines only looked at the contents of a web page when presenting search results to users. And the founders of Google, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, took a completely new approach. They ranked the search results based on contents, but also on how popular a website is. And this greatly increased the relevance of search results, and Google quickly became the number one search engine. And most search engines of today use this approach or similar approaches. And these examples are exactly what web intelligence is. We use data available on the web or in our system uh, that the user generates and we create new products or services. Web intelligence covers many fields, artificial intelligence, machine learning, visualization, information technology, statistics, programming and much more. So what shall we do in the course? The course consists of seven pre-recorded lectures, introduction, that's what you're looking at now, recommendation systems, clustering, search engines, what is machine learning, data and learning, and the name base algorithm. And you watch these lectures at your own pace. So you watch the lectures, you can also get and uh, read the literature to get a deeper understanding of things. Uh, but watching the lecture should be enough in, in most cases to, to know the things needed for the course. And also don't hesitate to ask questions about the contents, preferably on Slack. So all lectures, you also have some recommended reading and you have the lecture slides and of course this recording available. There are two books that we have references to. They are not mandatory to read, but uh, I recommend you to read them. Uh, Programming Collective Intelligence by Toby Segaran is a quite old book now, and some examples are very outdated, but it gives a very good overview of the field uh, and the algorithms are very well explained. Uh, and this book costs some money. Uh, the other book is actually free, Mining of Massive Datasets. Uh, and it also explains concepts in an easy way with lots of examples. And we also use a couple of online resources. Uh, there are some submissions you have to do in the course for assignments and projects. For each assignment and a project you have to submit a link to a source code at GitHub. So you upload your source code at GitHub or similar. And you also have to do an aura examination, either physically at my office or you can do it online over Slack. And the assignments of project have goals for different grades and you choose what grade you aim for. You submit uh, the code and the assignments of a project at my Moodle and you sign up for an examination slot for the aura examination. So we use two course pages, My Moodle, that's where you hand in or submit your assignment from the project. And it's only used for submitting things. 
all contents, core contents, are in the CoursePress webpage and you post a couple of links from my Moodle to the CoursePress page. So here you can find all the lectures, the pre-recorded lectures, reading advices, all, uh, all the assignments, the four assignments, the project and what you're supposed to do in those. Uh, you can also uh, find uh, the welcome letter that you should have received by now and, and so on. So all the contents of the course are in CoursePress. So the assignments. Assignment one, you are to build a recommendation system for a small movie ratings data set and it should be implemented as a web application using a RESTful web service as backend and uh, browser client GUI as frontend. In assignment two, uh, you should do some clustering uh, on a data set of blocks uh, and should also be implemented as a web application. In assignment three, uh, you shall build a search engine for Wikipedia pages and should also be implemented as a web application. And assignment four, uh, you should implement the naive base machine learning algorithm for classification tasks. And you can choose any programming language you like and any REST framework you like. Uh, so it's up to you to decide. A note here, um, some of the assignments uh, you can find quite lots of code, useful code, in uh, Toby Segarin's book. Uh, and of course you're not allowed to just copy and paste the source code from the book and submit it. You need to write your own code and you should be able to explain how your code works after your own examination. The project, there are four different projects you can choose from. Uh, a recommendation system, clustering, web scraping and search engine and machine learning. And these projects build upon what you have done in the assignments. So if you have um, done a lot of work on the assignments and you choose uh, a project, um, for example clustering, and you have spent a lot of time on your clustering assignment, then the project will not be that large. And you choose the project you find most interesting. You can also uh, define your own project if you like and uh, then you take a discussion with me if uh, the, your idea is suitable or not and I give you a yes or no if you can do that. But the easiest way is to choose one of these projects because you will see uh, all the grading criteria. The final grade on the course is calculated as follows. Uh, so we you calculate the sum of the scores of the assignments uh, plus 3.5 times the score of a project and divide by 7.5 because we have 7.5 credit scores. And this final score is rounded to the nearest integer and these grades are converted to scores using the following conversion. So 5 points for grade A or 1 point for grade E. You receive the following grades. So, an example uh, assignment 1C, assignment 2A, assignment 3B, assignment 4A, and project B. Your final grade is then we use the table uh, to find the scores 3 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3 times 5 multiplied by the project score 4 divided by 7.5, which equals 4.13, which is roughly 4. So you get uh, Final score 4, which according to the table is a B. All questions, discussion, etc. shall be on the Slack channel 2DV515. So you need to sign up for Slack to come in. And you also you need Slack to uh, for all oral examinations if you do them online. And you can also use Slack for private messages with, uh, uh, with me. And uh, the, the channel we discuss different topics of the course. You can ask general questions, and, uh, and I give you send out some information about the course every now and then. So you need to make uh, to, to install Slack. Uh, there's two versions of Slack. We have a browser version and the 
uh, actual installed application on your computer. Versor wor version works fine if you uh, just want to look at the channel, but uh, you cannot uh, share screen and do oral examinations uh, in the browser. You need to install the application to do that. So what's the next step? Watch lecture two, uh, read recommended reading, and start working on the first assignment. Make sure to keep track of the deadline so you don't miss any submission, because this is a self-study course, so you watch the lectures in your own pace. So keep track of the course webpage so you know all the deadlines. Post questions and join discussions on Slack, and then continue on the other lectures, assignments, and the project. And just give me a shout if you have any questions or need any help. So once again, welcome to the Web Intelligence course, and I hope you will enjoy this very exciting topic. Thanks.